Welcome back everybody to another video. Today I will be showing you how to build this cozy little survival house. This house comes with everything you, that you need. A fancy bedroom, plenty of storage, an enchanting space, a kitchen, you name it. Here is the materials that you need. Feel free to pause the video whenever you need. Let's start off with a 13 by 13 stone foundation. You're going to want to place logs spaced apart from each other like this. You're going to want to have three blocks in between the logs. So every four blocks, place the logs down. Like this. Next, you want to build up five blocks on every log. The two middle logs on each side, you're going to want to build up six more blocks like this. Now repeat this on every side. Once you got that done, place stairs on each log like this. Now repeat this on every side. Once that's done, do the same on the top higher logs. Now you want to fill in the walls with birch, like this. If you want to save on resources, don't place the birch on the logs, because that's unnecessary. And we'll place lighting right there later. So just fill it in like this. Make sure to add a door. Now all those walls that we placed punch out holes for windows. Make sure it is four to three blocks high. You can put the windows wherever you'd like, but you can also do it however I'm doing it. Whatever you like. You should have something like this. Next, fill in those holes with glass, panes, or whatever color you'd like. Then add trapdoors to the bottom of each pillar on the outside. Repeat the same thing, but on the top row. Next, we're going to do the roof. Play, go down two blocks. Make sure it's two blocks down. 
one, two. Make sure it's two blocks out, two. Pay extra close attention on this scene, because this is a bit tricky. So you want to go one, two, one, two, out. Go stair, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair, block, stair, upside down stair, block, stair. Now you want to place an upside down stair in the middle like this. Place a slab. Now you want to repeat this on all the other sides. Now we're going to fill the roof in with some birch. You can use any other kind of block you want, but birch is cheap and easy to get to if you're low on resources. Place slabs going across to each other top of the roof, like this. Make like a cross. Now repeat the same thing on all the other sides with the birch. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now build up on these taller parts right here. I repeat the same thing on all sides. Now break out some more windows for right here. Right here is going to be a deck. This is the front of the house where the door is. So place some slabs like this. Place some birch right there and there. Add some stairs right there and there. Block right there. Now we're going to work on the two decks on each side. This part right here was even tricky for me because I couldn't figure out what looked good. So I just took down these slabs right here and placed them with some trapdoors. There, that looks a little bit better. Now this is optional. You can add like a roof or a thing above it, but I think it's okay without it, but it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do. You can either have it in this style, or if you don't really like that, you can do something like this. Now you want to build walls. Use dark oak blocks for this because it will match in with the birch too much and it will look ugly. And you'll have something like this. 
repeat the same thing on the other side. Add some windows. Now add dark oak logs in these little crevices right here. Do this on all the other sides. Add glass to whatever holes are in the house. Now cover this little spot up right here with some dark oak slabs. Do the same on this side over here. Fill the floor in with dark oak slabs or blocks. Add wood logs to this side over here. Add a carpet to your, of your choice. Now we want to add a wall to this side. The corner we just finished, we're gonna head on into the inside and turn it into a little bookshelf enchanting area. Place down your enchanting table, make sure it's not leaning up against the books because it won't look good, I guess. Now we'll surround it with black carpet. Now we'll repeat the same thing on the other side with the wall. Except we're not adding a bookshelf area to this side.
Now we're going to turn this little area right here into a storage room. Add slabs going across the top right here. Break this little hole in the corner so we can have a staircase going up. Now place down your stairs. Now we're going to do the third story. Place blocks just like this. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that you have to place support down here. So grab a log, place that down like that. Place one there. Now fill in these right here. Now you just want to finish filling in this floor up here. Place down your bed. Now place the carpet of your choice. I'm using cyan because it looks good for a bedroom. Now we want to do these corners because these corners look kind of ugly if you ask me. Break that. Place a block like that. Now repeat the same thing on all the other corners. Now right here we're gonna have a little bookshelf study area. Place your bookshelves like this, and you can cover the roof, the backside of them outside with trapdoors. Place two stairs like this upside down facing each other. Get a slab and place it right there in the middle. Place a lantern. Place down an item frame, then place a map. Place a flower pot right there for some decoration. Now you could do whatever you want for this little corner right here, but I'm gonna have like a little backup set of armor and treasure chest here. Place a lantern. Now fill the rest of the floor with carpet. Now I should have something that looks like this. Oh yes, let's place a little nightstand right here with a lantern on it. Like so. Place two lanterns here and here. 
you know, make sure you add a door. You know, place a ladder here in the corner so you could get up to your bedroom. Now place some stairs like this in this corner right here. Place a lantern here. You can have a chain attached to it if you want. It just looks better. Place lanterns in these little crevices. Now we're going to start on the kitchen. We want a spot to smelt our items, so we're going to place our furnaces in this little back corner behind the stairs. Place an anvil there, brewing stand, smoker. Now make your table. Place two barrels here, and two barrels here. Place your crafting table in the center of the room, or kitchen. Place slabs all around it. Place a table right there. Now we want to get our leaves. There we go, that looks a lot better. That'll be it for this tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below what house tutorial you'd like to see next, and have a great day.